What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance. Last time we finished up everything we had to do in the Alt Miller Cave. And pretty much what that was is to get to the end of it in order to find the mystical elixir, mystical draft, mystical drought, I don't really know how you want to say it, but it's all the same thing. And then we had to go all the way back to the beginning in order to give it to the Invisible Man. Uh, which actually ended up being Bobby in uh, real, well not real life, but once he actually revealed himself to us, we were able to see who he was. And Bobby is the leader of Toby, which is the town we're in now. So, as gratitude for rescuing him, he's pretty much letting us enter the tournament as is. All of the, uh, the like, preliminaries have already finished up and everything, but because we rescued him, he's like, why don't you go ahead and go in now? Uh, he also wants to talk to us because he seems to know a lot about the ancient history of this planet, Probably a lot that has to do with our synergy and everything. And, you know, it would be nice to actually hear what he has to say in order to be able to kind of know where we got to go next and everything like that. Now, I'm going to run into his castle really quickly. I don't think I can talk to him yet. At least I'm pretty sure I can. Are you gonna, anybody going to talk to me? Are you going to say anything at all? Uh, yes, I am Isaac. Bobby left word that he would be waiting for you at the Colosseum. Don't go to the palace, go directly to the Colosseum. Can I go in? Ah, see, I can still go in. I went to the palace. Ha! Ah, huh. Ah, I fight the man and I do what I want. But yeah, so there you go. So we need to head to the Colosseum because Bobby wants to see us use our synergy in order to help ourselves win. Now, some people out there may call that cheating. Bobby seems to disagree with that or else he wouldn't let us into this really popular event. So... I guess we can't disappoint him at all, right? Uh, what do we got? Warrior named Isaac was selected for the finals by Bobby. Maybe I should put a little money on Bobby's special warrior. You should! You should! I hear a special warrior is absolutely amazing. What about you? Having a warrior who wasn't in the trials appear in the finals is really gonna mess things up. No, no, I think it's gonna go great, actually. Uh, yes, I do, actually. I wanna try. Aren't you Isaac, the one handpicked by Bobby? Uh, yes? Look, I'm sorry, but we have some rules that- Oh man, we're the part of their team and can't play. Boo! Boo, I can buy bet on me all day. Oh, uh, who are you? Costume is already full, and blah, 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 blah. You're scalping tickets over there. I need to talk to these guys, which automatically does it for me. Hey, you're Isaac. That's me. You're kidding. That's Isaac? The one Bobby picked? Yeah. There's no mistaking it. He's Isaac for sure. Do you, do you have a photo of me? Do you, do you have my headshot that, you know, appears every time... Well, I don't want to say every time Isaac talks, because Isaac never talks. But every time I give a yes or no answer? He's just a kid. What does Bobby think Colosso is? A playground? Hey, now! Putting him in the finals is an insult to everyone who cleared the trials. You don't know me! Don't you people have faith in Bobby? Bobby wouldn't let him into the finals just to repay a favor. The one guy did shake his head no, by the way. <laughs> They're all shaking no. I guess Bobby wouldn't let Isaac in if he weren't a good match. <laughs> you just wait and see. We've been waiting for you and your friends, Isaac. All of the Colossal participants go into the waiting room, okay? You got it! Alright, this way please. Woo! Alright, to Colossal we go. Suckers, skipping all the lines. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this little scene there is. What did we explain? But, oh, they explained to us exactly what's going on. Huh? Isaac's the only one entering the finals? Sorry, son. Warriors entered into the finals must go it alone. But why Isaac? Because I am the leader. That is what Bobby wanted. But I wanted to enter too. Oh, boo. We aren't accepting. We aren't accepting any more entries. We had to even draw another circle on the floor just for him. Well, Master Isaac, please prepare yourself. I guess all you can do is get it over with, Isaac. I know you want to enter too, Garrett, but there's nothing we can do. This is crazy. Isaac won't survive against those colossal warriors, and you would. If Isaac wants to win, he'll have to use synergy. Which is kind of how what we would all be doing. Well, Bobby does seem very interested in his synergy. Even so, how's he supposed to use it in here? What did 
Bobby say we're supposed to do while Isaac is competing? We've made a slight exception. You can cheer from him from the stage. Huh? You'll be able to see from right up close. This is the first time it has ever been permitted. You should thank Bobby for the chance to sit in these special seats. Well, I guess he must have a plan or something. If everything is settled, I shall take you there. Well, I guess we do what we gotta do, right? Um, can't Isaac go see the final stages too? I bet you want to learn as much as you can about the finals, eh, Isaac? Why, yes I do. Knowledge is power. The more you know. Knowing is half the battle, and a lot of other things that, you know, involve that. Come on, you can make another exception, can't you? <laughs> You're doing it all day. I don't see the harm in it. I can't believe Isaac is entering midway through Colosso. This is a first, totally unheard of. Like I said earlier, and I just want to repeat myself now to pad this little episode. Are you ready? I'll give you a tour of the arena. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Check out to see what round one of the Colossal was going to be like. So he leads us through this little corridor here, and here we are. This is the site of the first finals battle. So this is where warriors test their met metal uh, against each other? Well, no, it's actually more than that. What else is involved? The warriors are racing to get from first to the from here first to the best equipment. So there's an advantage to getting here first. That's quite a test. It's too hard for Isaac. We must support him as well as we can. Um, don't you want to hear my explanation? I technically know what's going on, but just for the sake of it, sure. Go ahead, we'll indulge him. All right. Now let's me explain in detail. Warriors enter the finals without any of their own equipment. Please look over there. That is the starting point of the first stage of the finals. You must go through several stages before you reach the arena. The chests along the way contain items that may be useful in battle. This is the battle arena. After getting there, the warriors do battle. You get weapons in the arena too, but one is weaker than the other. So you'll have to advantage, you'll have the advantage if you get there first. Also, you can use the equipment you get here in your next match. What do you think, Isaac? Do you understand the rules for the final? So yeah, brief synopsis, we have what they give us, which is nowhere near as powerful as what we currently have equipped. Any chests we pick up are items that we can hold on to, whether we're using them now or in later rounds. And once you get to the center of the arena, the game will automatically give you whatever the best of those two items are. So, I think we're good. You'll notice that each stage has its own attendant. Ask the attendant for an explanation of the stages. Isaac, you're a contestant in the finals. Do not forget that. I'll be right here, so come to me when you're done looking things over. Hey, where do we cheer from? Would you like to visit the stage and hear a description for each one? Well, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yes, we'll decide where to cheer for Isaac after hearing the description. So, just to kind of show you exactly what will be happening, if you go here and you talk to this guy, this is stage one of the first finals match. Would you like to hear a description of the stage? Yes. They call this the Rock Challenge. Don't know why, because these are, well, I guess they're, they look like trees, because it's kind of what the tree uh, sprite has been the entire time. So now, well, let's say, warriors must create steps that they can use to get through here. Notice all the little dotted lines, especially the one down on the bottom? I wonder if we can use a synergy in order to help Isaac along. Warriors must use only the objects in the stage, along with their own strength and wit, to reach the next stage. It's not exactly a mental challenge, but okay. And then it's going to ask you who you want to leave there. From there, you want to kind of look to see who has what. Uh, Garrett would be the only one I would put here because he has move. And I don't think I need anything for these two yet. So we're going to put Garrett in here. Garrett will cheer from you. This way, please. You know what to do, buddy. And then later on, once we're done looking at all of these stages, we'll be able to go to each one of them again, playing briefly as Garrett, Isaac, and Mia, in order to use our synergies in order to help Isaac along. 
So let's go over here to the next area. This is stage two of the first finals match. Would you like your description? Yes, I would. This area is called the Pipeworks. See the warrior pipes? The ones with the blinking finger by it? They actually form a kind of scale. Whoop, whoop. When one side lowers, the other side raises. Using this premise, you must find a way to reach the next stage. So basically you want to push the log to the right to make the water go through to fill the stage and jump over. However, we do have something in order to help us out with that. And that would be Nia's ability to douse. There you go. There you go. Very good. Uh, before I jump in here, I'm actually going to cheat a little bit so I don't waste too much time. Uh, I'm going to be swapping Flint with Gust in order to be able to give... Uh, I'm going to take off Gust, right? Uh, yes, because I need to get rid of that. Okay, so I'm taking off Gust, but now Ivan has the growth ability, which is something I'm going to be needing. And I'll show you why in the third area of the first final match. I call this the Broken Bridge. Carefully time your bridge crossings to reach the next stage. Run, 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 go! Oh. If your timing is off, you'll fall down, which will cost you time. You have to go up the ladder and try again. So, yes, we will be leaving Ivan here, so this way he can use growth in order to, well, give us a bit of a ladder in order to get up to where we need to go. So, Ivan, you go there. And then that's it. That's it for the first area. Um, oh, there is a fourth one over here. What, what is this one? Fourth stage, like your description? Sure, why not? This place is normally called the Lumber water crossing area. I wonder why it's normally called that. The obstacle at this stage is a large water tank. If you can get all the way across in one go, you don't have to give it that much thought, which is basically taking the log and going straight across. But there is a way for you to get straight down in order to be able to get to that chest, but that's going to be way too much time, and I'm not going to worry about it. So, the chests that appear in the first round are three chests, and this is what they have in order. The first chest will have a nut in it, the second chest will have an oil drop, and the third chest will have another nut. Honestly, the third nut is not one that you're really going to need, because you'll be able to get the other two, and this first guy we fight, not really that tough. So, with all of our friends in our areas, and us ready to go, let's talk to this guy. Isaac, did you get a look around? Yep. Let's head back. Oh man, look at all these multicolor uh, warriors here, it's crazy. Prepare yourselves, contestants, the finals will begin shortly! Um, okay, do I, do I just run around? I'm rated as second best, but I'll prove them wrong, the name's Azart! Don't tell me you're the one Bobby and picked to be in the finals. <laughs> I'm not going to lose someone who didn't even clear the trials. You don't know me! You don't know what I did! A fart! Jerk! What about you, Mr. Blue? I'm Morton. I am the highest ranked warrior. I'm going to win the finals. And don't you forget it! I forgot. What, what did you say you are going to do yet? Oh, oh, that's right. You're going to lose, sucker! What about you? Yeah. You who have come to question me are you, Isaac, me Isaac. I had closed my eyes to focus my mind before battle. My name is Stratrage. I'm the fourth ranked warrior. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool name, by the way. Stratrage. I don't. I don't think that's your real name. That's probably a stage name. But if it's your real name, your parents are awesome or messed up. I'm not sure yet. I'm Budfor, the seventh seed. All who clear the trials are powerful warriors. This is a balanced match. Everyone, anyone could win today. Oh, good. You didn't make fun of me. I like you, Gray Man. You're cool. What about you? I am the vampire of. Gandawa, the sixth rank warrior. You made those words up. You're the warrior Bobby selected. The one you're talking, the one you're all talking, they're all talking about. Oh boy. The one they're all talking about. I heard rumors that you were a huge hulking man. I guess they were wrong. Well, you know. Oh, I stepped on my thing. No, I'm not ready yet. I want to talk to the rest of the warriors. Oh, don't frighten me. Oh, okay. I'm incredibly nervous. Me, I... I'm Galahad, the third highest seed. You're scared and you're third? 
can't wait any longer. Where do we start? Well, I messed that up because I stepped on my circle early, but I wanted to talk to everybody. Like this guy, he's staring longingly out something. I would assume a window. Decker must win the finals. Decker, Decker. <laughs> he won't answer no matter how much you speak to him. I'm speaking to him? That's where. Uh, he's trying to. Um, I looked away apparently. I didn't really care about him prepping for battle. Oh, this guy's talking to me. Oh, the finals can't be won that easy. I thought it was some random narrator. That's so weird. Anywho, so these are all the finals that are there. We only have to fight a few of them, and you'll see that as we go along. So now I can step on my circle, and we can begin. Hey, any day now. We're tired of waiting. Let's get this thing started. Let's get this party started. I agree. Let's get the finals begin already. Um, yeah, I'll show you. We're here to win the finals. Hey, what's the matter? Hurry up and start. Sorry, this kid wanted to talk to everybody. It just kind of wasted time. Line up starting with the top ranked warriors and wait the signal. Everyone to your circles now! Isaac, you are the odd man out. Now then, chosen warriors, let the finals begin! Woo! Everybody down in a nice rainbow pattern. And then there's Isaac. So, I make my way here. Time to lend a hand, so you get one move, one synergy move. Don't mess it up. Let's go ahead and move. Done. So if I pick something else by accident, and just, like, if I did force, if I did my force punch, that's it. I would do it, nothing would happen, and I would go, the match is about to begin, please take your places, and we would ridicule Garrett for still being an idiot for not doing the right synergy. We don't have to do that because he did do the right one, but it's something you have to remember. Let's head over here and use our power of the growth. And we got ourselves a nice little vine ladder right there. And I don't know why it went 1, 3, 2. I don't know why Mia had to go last, but whatever. You know, save the best for last, Mia and all. Let's go ahead and douse. Fill that with water. Yep. Very good. Nobody noticed that giant rainstorm that just appeared out of nowhere over that bucket. Good thing they're all focused on other things. Three, two, one, go! So now as you can see, you'll see player one or one player, that is me. You'll see how I managed to move myself forward in the, uh, the arena as my little dot goes forward. And then you can also keep an eye on player two over there in order to see where exactly he stacks up and just how much I'm crushing him. Take the oil drop. Go down here to the final area. Now what you would do here is you would roll this way. You would run up here. You would push this down. And then you would... Uh, uh, this is where you go. You would run over this way. Blah, 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 and then you would run the thing back in order to be able to get the chest. But I don't want to do that. I could care less. I want the iron shield because that's the best weapon here. And I'd rather just sit here and twiddle my thumbs and wait. Because again, that chest that was there, it only had a nut. And if I had run down in order to get the chest, which at this point I probably could have and gotten back in time, uh, there is a chance that this guy could have beaten me here. I wish I could watch him just standing here as all the sprites back there are like fist pumping and cheering me on or like, ah, I'm good, thanks. Oh, here he is. Oh, it's this guy. I think this is the first guy I talked to. And it's a Zart! Yep, this guy. This, this jerky person right here. Alright, so, Zart, all these enemies that we're gonna fight are level 25. He has 450 HP, no synergy, and then that's it. He doesn't drop anything, he doesn't give any experience, he doesn't give any gold or coins, he doesn't give any items. It is a mono a mono fight, warrior against warrior, knighted type guy against my synergy. So, Let's start throwing a big massive sword from the sky in his face. Yeah. So at 450, this isn't going to take very long at all. And yes, he does do an okay amount of damage, but I do way more to him than he does to me. Yeah, there's another shot. Let's go ahead and do it again. Yeah. Very nice. 116. Ooh ha, dodged you jerk. Let's go ahead and use my uh, oil drop just because I can. Burn! 83 damage. Oh, jeez, ow! Okay, fine. One for one, if that's how you want to play it. Yeah! 
113, and down you go. Hoorah! Win! I see you've made it through your first match. Winning your first match after jumping right into the finals is awesome! I should have expected as much from a warrior selected by Bobby. Now we have to go have a look at the next series of stages. And that's that! Oh, he's gonna lead me down to it anyway. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll walk down. We'll just do that. This is the site of the second finals match. As I explained earlier, each stage has its own attendant. Please ask the attendant directly for a description of each stage. Isaac, the first match was terrific. I'll be right here, so tell me when you're done looking around. Now, mind you, if I had lost there, if uh, Azart had actually beaten me, this wouldn't happen. The, the, it would just be over. Uh, Isaac would fall and collapse, and then I'd wake up in a bed, and then that would be that. But our goal is to win the Colosso, because the Colosso will end up giving us a very, very unique item that we're going to need for uh, later on. Uh, so just to show you guys, we have the catch bead and the lifting gem, but we don't need short sword, and then of course the iron shield that we picked up. So we're able to bring all these things in the next battle. But what I do, actually everybody has kind of lost all of their equipment, by the way. But I want to give the Hulk gem to Ivan, because I'm going to need him to do some halting. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and we're going to do this, and then we'll call it an episode. So let's see. Stage one of the second final. Would you like your description? Yes. The stage is dubbed the Mini Maze. Mm -hmm. The rules are simple. Get through the maze as quickly as you can. Oh no, it's a dead end. But you'll have to think on your feet and act quickly to win. So you could put Garrett in there in order to do move and everything, but in all honesty, it's a really easy one to get through. So I'm going to say no, and we're just going to move on to the next area, which is right here. Stage two. This is the shifting floor stage. Step skillfully across the floor as it moves around. If you don't mind your step, if you don't time your step right, you'll lose valuable time. So basically, these are just going to be shifting up and down, and then you jump across, and then that's pretty much that. Um, I'm going to put Ivan here, which is why I gave him the Hulk Gem, but keep in mind, if you look in kind of the upper left area, when that the final block moves all the way up, there is a spot there. There's a chest all the way up there that contains a nut. If you put uh, Ivan or whoever has the Hulk Gem here and use it, you're not going to get that item. I'm okay with that. I have no issues with not getting it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So here we are. Ivan, go on in there. You know what to do, little buddy. You got it. So now I'm gonna run over to the next one. Talk to him. This is stage three of the second match. Would you like your description? Yes. Obviously you can already see what we're gonna be doing. This is the log rolling stage. Ride the logs across the water to get to the other side. Ooh. Try to reach the opposite shore and head for the next stage. Obviously, that was the wrong way. He should have picked the top one. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting Miss Mia there so she can freeze up some water and enable me to kind of move forward. Now, there's something to that, but I'll explain it when I actually get to it. This is stage four. Now, there's a growth point there, but you can't do anything with the growth point because it's you can't jump over the fence. So, the fans just call this the wall. Up, 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 up. Say, uh, scale the wall first, then get your nerve up and jump. You'll actually want to jump into the middle one, not the left or the right. The middle one's the one you want to drop. I'll look for a spot where you can drop off the wall quickly. Now, the chest there as well, you have to move the log forward and then go up and around in order to get the chest. That chest would contain a smoke bomb. Again, not really something I'm interested in, so I'm going to skip it. And there's also no reason for me to put anybody here, so that's fine. There is one more section right here, the fifth and final stage of the second final run or whatever. This place is called the Boardwalk. Basically, a lot of pushing of logs and everything in order to get around. And I'd only want to do that because I want to run up top in order to get the treasure that's all the way up there, as you can see, just based off of moving. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw Garen in here because he has a force punch. 
that'll enable us to kind of move things along a little bit faster. So there we have it. There is everybody in the second round in their particular spots. And in the next episode, I will head back into the, uh, the waiting area. We will line up with all the rest of the remaining warriors. And I will go ahead and do round two of the Colossus. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Golden Sun. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to like and comment down below, share this video with your friends, and of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427 Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later.